solving special right triangles, 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 right triangles. We're going to examine two types of special right triangles today. An isosceles right triangle, where you have two 45 degree angles and two sides equal. And secondly, a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And one of those angles is 30 degrees, one 60 degrees, and of course the other one 90 degrees, a right, tri right angle. Now, why are these triangles special? By using Pythagorean theorem, we can find the length of one missing side if we have the length of two sides. But with special right triangles, and these two in particular, we need only the length of one side to find the other two missing sides. Let's look at this triangle first. It's called a 45-45-90 triangle, or an isosceles right triangle. It's an isosceles right triangle because it has a right angle and two sides that are the same. And now we look at our formula chart, and we see that corresponding, we place the variables opposite the angles. So we press place x opposite one side, x opposite the other side, and then x squared of 2 on the long side which is opposite the right angle. Since we know one of the sides with x, we set x equal to that length with an equal sign. So x equals 8, that other side equals 8. And now we need to find the long side. And since it is x squared of 2, we solve by multiplying x by that number. Here we have 8 times square root of 2 we get 11.3. And now that we found all sides, we can find the perimeter or the area of that right triangle if we want to. Let's look at a situation where we have the hypotenuse or long side of the triangle and need to find the other sides. So here we have x squared of 2 equals 85 centimeters. We don't know x, but we can see that x times square root of 2 equals 85 centimeters. Uh, so we set up the equation. x square root of 2 equals 85. How do we get rid of that square root of 2 to get x by itself? Well, we're going to divide both sides by square root of 2. And here we do that. They cancel on the left side. We go to our calculator. 85 divided by square root of 2 equals 60.1, rounded to the nearest tenth, and so those would be our sides. We can also solve the unknown sides of a 30-60-90 triangle if we know only one side. And here we have the short side of this right triangle of 11 inches. And when you know the short side of this type of triangle, finding the hypotenuse is really easy. You can do it mentally. Finding the longer leg of the triangle is also easy, but you'll probably need a calculator to be accurate. Let's label the sides. Okay, opposite the 30 degree angle is x. Opposite the 60 degree angle is x squared root of 3. And finally, 2x goes opposite the right angle. Since the short side is 11 inches, we know that x is 11. And since x is 11 and the hypotenuse is 2x, then it must be 2 times 11 or 22. So that side is 22 inches long. For the long leg, we find it by taking the value 4x and multiplying it by the square root of 3. And here we do that in our calculator, and we get 19.05. When rounded the nearest hundredth, we can find the perimeter by adding 11.22 and 19.05. So that's our perimeter, 52.05. Finding the area is now almost as easy. We take the two legs, multiply them together, and divide by 2. So we get an area of 
0.8 rounded to the nearest tenth. And let's try one where we know the hypotenuse, but not the other sides. Since the long side here of this triangle is 50 meters, that means that 2x equals 50. We solve for 2x equals 50 algebraically by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. And since 50 divided by 2 is 25, then x, or the short side of the triangle, is 25 meters. Now we can find the long leg by multiplying x, or 25, times the square root of 3. And here we do that, and we get 43.3 as our long leg. Now that we know all sides, we can calculate the area or perimeter of the triangle. Now we're going to look at another one, uh, next problem, where we know the long leg of 79 centimeters. And we have x times the square root of 3 equals 79, so we set up the equation. To solve for x, or the short side, we divide both sides by the square root of 3. So those cancel out on the left side. And the short side x is 79 divided by square root of 3. And here it is in our calculator. And here we have it, 45.6 centimeters. And now that we have x, we solve for the hypotenuse by multiplying 45.6 times 2. And we get hypotenuse equal to 91.2. With all three sides now, we can calculate the perimeter or area of the triangle. Now to summarize, when you go from one side to the next side, remember to multiply to get the larger side. And that's going to be by the square root of 2 for a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And for a 30, 60, 90 triangle, you need to multiply by 2 or the square root of 3 to get those sides from starting with the short side. Secondly, to go from larger to smaller sides, we need to divide. We need to write the numbers down to see that they make sense. And finally, we need to use the sides we found to do the thing being asked, whether finding perimeter, area, or something else. Again, I hope this lesson has been enjoyable and instructive. Thanks for visiting.